All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wabrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well, including you men who may not be teachers or prophets, to you women and children as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay. Uh, this is the book of Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Behold, I give, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you and this is important because we don't know who is praying against us you may have someone literally trying to put curses on you trying to take you out of here you might have a scorned ex-wife somewhere who just wishes <laughs> That, that something bad would happen to you. You know, some, some enemy back in the world somewhere who just wants the worst to happen to you. Or someone who just can't stand seeing you in this truth. And they may be, you know, trying to conjure up evil spirits against you. But guess what, man? Nothing by any means shall hurt us because we have Yahweh Shai. We have power. We have spiritual power, okay? And when them demons try to fight against us, our strength is in the Lord, okay? Also showing that the names Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai are important because you have to have the name to call on the power of heaven and earth. Really, the names, the name of Yahweh and the name of Yahweh Shai. All right, so let's read this again in Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So that's spiritual power. Let's go to the book of Romans. Chapter 8 and verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? So if Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai be for us, who can be against us? Or who can hurt us? Let's read that verse again in Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Although, yes, we have enemies, we have those who wish evil against us. They can't do nothing because the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is basically like a like a force field uh, a barrier of protection a hedge okay we have the hedge of yahweh by show me our shy so regardless of what's against us romans 8 and 31 what shall we then say to these things if god be for us who can be against us he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us all how shall he not with him also freely give us all things. And that's love, man. Yahweh loved us so much that he said, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice my firstborn. That's love, man. Because a father loves his son or his children. The heavenly father loves his children. All right. Now, seeing that. We have Yahweh Yahweh Shai with us. We don't have nothing to fear. 
as hard as it may get, we don't have anything to fear. Let's go to the book of Zechariah. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. So first of all, we're not going to be delivered off of our might, our own physical strength. Our power is in Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. All right. So with Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai behind us, nothing can come against us. Now, if we didn't have Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, we'd have to be worried, man. Okay, because this world is full of evil, and it's getting worse and worse. All right. But we have power. We have power in Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. We have power in those names. Okay? And seeing that we're in a spiritual battle, having those names is likened unto having weapons. Okay? Let's go to the book of Psalms. Chapter 44 and verse 5. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through who? Through the heavenly, uh, through Yahweh Shai. Okay, the heavenly father through Yahweh Shai is going to protect us as he has been this whole time. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. The power of the name, man. So don't let nobody say the names don't matter. Anyone speaking that, they're false prophets. Because it's telling you here, uh, through the name, we are going to have power to push down our enemies. All right? And this is a spiritual war. So how, how are we going to, how are we going to maintain, how are we going to survive a spiritual war without our power? It's not going to happen. We need Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai because we are absolutely um, fighting against spirits. What's that? Um, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Let's go into that word wiles. Cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. Okay, so we have to put on the armor of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to stand against the trickery of the devil. Full of tricks, man. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. So the principalities, the powers, the rulers of this world, what do they use to fight against us? They use our flesh against us, man. They pray, they, they set up uh, ritualistic, you know, left hand, uh, magic left hand wizardry see on the right hand you have miracles you know you have the spiritual power on the right hand but on the left hand you have you know magic you know they're trying to conjure up all sorts of evil towards brothers man you know if you find yourself just kind of feeling you know foggy fatigued you know yeah we have uh a society just full of just you know gmo foods Brothers may not have the best diet, so to speak, but not only that, you know, there are spirits fighting against you because the scriptures even tell you how um, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man. You know, brothers get the feeling worn out, but they still find time to put in work, to put in the work. Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers 
against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Man, you got to imagine that. Spiritual wickedness in high places. I forget where it was, man. I think it was, um, you know, don't quote me for this. But I think it was somewhere in Australia or something like that. You know, but uh, their news station randomly got cut off in a satanic um, ritual had shown up for a couple seconds or something like that. And they had said, hell, Satan. Well, Satan is uh, under the heavenly father on the left hand. Satan works for the Lord. All right. But at the same time, us being in these bodies, Satan is looking to pick brothers out. Satan is looking to um, have his way with you, you know, mess with you. Have his way with you in terms of um, trying to frustrate you to the point you just give up. And it's hard, man. But, you know, we have to put on the whole armor, you know, prayer, you know, have faith, call on the names with faith, um, rehearsing the righteous acts. All right. Knowing that you're an Israelite. Not believing in foolishness, not putting your heart in this world. You know, if you have a decent life, you have, you know, money, so to speak. Don't put your heart in that stuff. Okay. Seeing that we're coming to the end. This is a spiritual battle we're into, man. Money and things like that are not going to help us. And it's going to get bad out here, man. It's going to become a very dark, dark time in terms of the things you are going to see people doing to each other out here, man. And it's all going to be the judgment of the Heavenly Father. So I wanted to, you know, go on ahead and bring this out. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wa Shalom.